Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at the dahlias that are blooming in my garden. Most of the dahlias that I have in my garden were purchased from Swan Island Dahlias in Oregon. And I'm going to put their link down in the description below. We have our dahlias planted in boxes because we have a big problem with gophers. They love to eat dahlias. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So we're going to start in my main box right here. These dahlias that are here have been here about three or four years, I believe. So they've been here for a long time. And so let's start over here. The first one I want to show you are these um, beautiful single petal dahlias. These are called giggles and I got these from Swan Island. They're gorgeous, look at that. And the honeybees and bumblebees love this. And then around the corner over here, this is one of my newest dahlia. This is called Peaches and Dreams. Look at that color. Beautiful. And over on this side is called Christian Honey. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. But this is another one from Swan Island Dahlias. Beautiful color. And the next one is called Wildcat. This is also from Swan Island Dahlias. Look how beautiful that is. So they start out this way and then when they start growing they grow to a paler color like this. Okay, so this is my second box of dahlias. Half of it is the lily, which I've already shown you. And then the other half is um, dahlia. This is Rebecca Lynn. Rebecca Lynn has a lot of flowers on it. Look at this beautiful flower. Just gorgeous. It's got a lot of flower on it. Just beautiful. Look at this. And this makes beautiful cut flower. Actually, most of my dahlias make beautiful cut flower. So next to Rebecca Lynn is Kasasagi. And this is a very small flower, but it is so cute and beautiful. And this is a lot of flowers on it too. Look at that. Beautiful. And so next to it is a uh, cream colored flower called Cherish. And it has a bit of purple, as you can see on the outside right here on the tips. And then it, uh, it's cream colored most around the area here. Beautiful. Okay, in this same box, I have this um, dahlia that I don't have a name, but it's beautiful. It's huge flowers. Look at this. And here's another one right there. Okay, so we're going to go over to this uh, third box of dahlia. And most of these dahlias came from uh, Swan Island dahlias again. And they are blooming just beautifully. And I'm going to try to make sure that you get the names of this ones. I did have labels on them. So look at this one right here. This one is called Chewy. It's got this kind of pink and then purple in the middle. 
and just beautiful color look at this okay and the next dahlia that I have over here is called Jerry Huck beautiful color kind of like peach color here And you probably have noticed all the strings that I have here. We put strings all around the dahlia to give them support so that they don't fall over. And we do this early on in the season before they grow this tall. And so far it's holding them up pretty good. Okay, so the next one that I have over here is called Honeydew. This one is gorgeous. This is kind of a young one right here, but this is what it looks like. This is honeydew. It has that yellow and then kind of a peachy color right on that side. You can see it on the tips as well. Beautiful. So the next dahlia that I have is this one right here. And this is called Crazy Love. And I love this dahlia because look at how it has this purplish tips on it. It's a combination of white and purple. And this has a lot of flowers on it, you can see. Just beautiful. Look at that. And then the next one to Crazy Love is an unnamed dahlia. I don't have a name for this one, unfortunately. But it is beautiful nonetheless. Look at this. Just the color is very cheery. And then this one right here is called Black Satin. And this is from uh, Swan Island dahlias. This is just gorgeous. Let me come around here and I want to show you this one here. This is black satin. Beautiful color. Okay. This next one is called Cornell. Look how beautiful this is. Just gorgeous. These flowers are so beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. And then next to Cornell, um, I don't have a name for this one. So I'm sorry about that. This is purple one. And then next to that one, again, I don't have a name for these ones. These are the dahlias I just got from like Home Depot and they didn't specify the name. This one is supposed to be a dinner plate. Now we had a heat wave the other day and I think this dahlia got burned from that heat. But this is a huge flower here and there's more coming. There's one right here and then there's one right here. So I'm up here in the upper garden, right next to my watering hose right there. And I have a couple of uh, dahlias over here. And you have seen me feature this. And this is Mr. Optimus. Look at how much flower this uh, dahlia has. I actually have, I believe, three plants up here. But this has not stopped blooming. Look at beautiful red and kind of a yellow tip on it. And then when it gets uh, older, it has more whiter tips on there. So there's like different shades on this one. But it's such a beautiful color. Beautiful dahlia. Look at this. Okay, so next to Mr. Optimus over here on this side is another Mr. Optimist. Another beautiful flower here. Gorgeous. And then I have over here another purple dahlia and I do not have a name for this one. 
But this has a huge flower on it, you could see right here. Just gorgeous. Beautiful. And this has a very uh, sturdy stem on it and it makes beautiful cut flowers. Just gorgeous. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.